Hey Beach Channel, I'm Savith and if you love contemporary art, then this is the place to be. Miami Beach's Art Basel 2017. Let's check it out. I'm here with the president of Hammer Galleries in New York City. Yes, so my name is Howard Shaw. I'm the president of the gallery. Uh, Hammer was uh, established in 1928 by the industrialist Dr. Armand Hammer. We specialize in, in impressionist and modern paintings. So many people, when they think of Art Basel Miami, they think of contemporary art. And certainly it's one of the most important contemporary art fairs in the world. But actually, the fair begins at the turn of the 20th century, in 1900. And so the Renoir behind me here was painted in 1908. And um, Renoir, at this period, was actually uh, thought of uh, in, in many ways as a modern artist and was very influential on some of the artists we have in the other room, Matisse and Picasso, both of whom had in their own personal collections Renoirs from this period. So we like to think that we bring historical works, very classic works, and it helps give a context to the rest of the work in the building. I like to say that uh, almost all of the artists in this building were inspired or influenced by the artists in our booth. Hi, I'm here with Jay Gorney. Can you tell me what gallery you're with? I'm with Paula Cooper Gallery in New York. I'm a director of the gallery. Okay, and what brings your gallery here to Art Basel? Well, it's, it's, it's a wonderful fair. We uh, participate in Art Basel in Miami and in Basel, Switzerland. And, uh, you know, it's lively. There's a, a, a terrific viewership here. The art uh, community in Miami has become increasingly more exciting. This year we have the new uh, ICA, uh, Institute of Contemporary Art Building, the Perez Museum, all the wonderful collections. Uh, it's a vital arts community and it's, we're very, very happy to uh, come to Miami and participate in the fair. Can you tell me which piece do you think is the most popular? Well, many of these pieces have been popular during the fair, but I think we'll, we'll all talk about this wonderful installation by the artist Sal LeWitt. Uh, this work is called 100 Cubes. It dates from 1991, and these are 100 gouaches. Gouache is a form of watercolor. So you're looking at 100 drawings of the cube that you know, the colors shift and are not repeated, made by this uh, art, by Sal LeWitt in 1991. And I just have one more request for you. Can you describe the striking photograph of the basketball player? Oh, sure, that's a photograph by Paul Pfeiffer. And it's uh, from a series that Paul uh, uh, has made an ongoing series called Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And it's wonderful. He focuses on athletes, very often, generally athletes of color. And it's uh, a, you know, a basketball game. But what you see that Paul has done is eliminated the other players. So that one basketball player is sort of hovered, ghost-like, and becomes a very, very poetic, Christ-like figure. I'm here with a fellow art lover. What is your name? My name is Harvey Tanzer. Harvey, what brings you here to Art Basel this year? Well, we're, we were in the city and uh, we've been, we come and go often, but uh, it was in town when we were in town and we decided we had to see it. That's great. Have you seen any interesting pieces today? Uh, we've seen a lot of pieces. I guess uh, what's really interesting is the, the variety of pieces that you see. And I think uh, both from photography, we've seen performance art, we've seen a variety of pieces in textile. So there's been a lot of interesting things that we've seen. Well, that's great. <laughs>
Tell me a little bit about what you have on display here today. The work that we're standing in front of is by an American artist called Spencer Finch. He works with, uh, as you can see, light and color, but to connect to a specific time or place, often with poetic associations. That's really interesting. How does art inspire you? I work with it, so uh, it's more working with the artists and all the conversations and, and curating the shows in, in deep uh, dialogue with the artists is really inspiring. And my final question for you is what do you think of Art Basel? Art Basel Miami and Art Basel uh, Basel are two of the best fairs in the world or the two best fairs. Um, it's always super professional the best institutions and the best collectors come to this venue, so it's really important for us. So far it's been a really exciting day here at Art Basel. We've spoken to art lovers, we've spoken to president of galleries, but now we have an artist in front of us. What is your name? My name is David Driscoll. I'm an artist from Highsville, Maryland, a retired university art professor. Can you tell me a little bit about this painting right here? This painting is from around 1970 and it, um, when you see one figure in the painting, autobiographically it's always me <laughs> as a kid or maybe as a grown-up but in this case it's still almost like a kid and reflecting on how far I had gone by 1970 I was a college professor at Fisk University in Nashville Tennessee at that time and reflecting on the civil rights movement the use of the flag the star of course that's a contemporary theme debating about the use of the flag even now so it hopefully has relevance to that subject as well. It's very lovely. Um, as an artist, what do you feel inspires you the most? Well, when one looks at my paintings, they probably would see it, but I would say nature, the mechanics of nature, the beauty of it, the growth of it, and how I fit into it. And so I kind of feel that I'm a vital part of that. And uh, my more recent paintings probably show more of that because they have to do with landscape and people. But usually there are always people there because I think people help to give it that human dimension. Right. Well, thank you so much for giving us your time. I appreciate it. <laughs>